protests, hoisting foreign flags in Nigeria treasonable, Tinyabu. Abuja as the nationwide protests against hunger and bad governance entered the fifth day yesterday, President Bola Tinyabu summoned a National Security Council meeting where issues of security threats to the country were discussed, briefing State House correspondents at the end of the security meeting, the Chief of Defense Staff, CDS, General Christopher Musa, described as a treasonable offense the hoisting of Russian flags in the cities of Nigeria. The CDS also ruled out any possible coup to remove the democratically elected government, saying that the military would not allow any such attempt to succeed. Recall that some protesters in Kano, Kaduna, Zamfara and Plateau states have hoisted the Russian flags in the aforementioned states from Saturday last week, but the chief of defense staff said that those behind such a grievous offense would face the wrath of the law. He said, we went to brief Mr. President on the situation on ground and we know that since the riot, protest, started, all the security agencies are together. Initially, when the riot, protest, started they said it was a peaceful riot but we have realized that there are individuals that are willing to take advantage of it to cause mayhem. And we can see clearly what has happened since it has commenced. Criminals have taken over, a lot of looting taking place, stealing and all sorts of things are happening. And besides, all of us have seen it where foreign flags have been flown within the sovereignty of Nigeria, and that is totally unacceptable. We are warning in clear terms and the president has also said we should convey this, that we will not accept anybody, any individual flying any foreign flag in Nigeria, that is treasonable offense, and it will be viewed and treated as such. So nobody shall allow himself to be used by any individual. General Musa further said, for those of them flying flags and if you'll see a lot of them are kids being pushed to do that, or following up with those sponsoring them. Those who are pushing them because you know, flags were also made. We have identified those areas and we are going to take serious action against that. The president is clear on his instructions for us not to accept anyone that wants to disrupt the peace and tranquility of Nigeria. And we are all standing here together to show Nigerians that we're working closely, we are working together with synergy to ensure that there's still peace and tranquility in Nigeria, that we have assured Mr. President. Fielding questions on the issue of coup being rumored in some quarters, the CDS said, also the issue of coups, Nigeria is a sovereign nation, Nigeria is a democratic nation all security agencies are here to defend democracy and ensure that democracy continues to thrive, we will not accept anyone pushing or taking any action, seemingly or for whatever reason to want to push for any change of government. Democracy is what we stand for, democracy is what we'll continue to defend. Asked to clarify the allegations that some soldiers partook in the looting in some states, the army chief said, no. I think it has been cleared, I think it was also a misconception. They actually have seen those things and they wanted to clear them away from the area and that's what was done. We have investigated thoroughly, the chief of army staff is here. We have investigated thoroughly and there is nothing like such. No member of the armed forces fell into doing that. General Musa reiterated his earlier position that the military will step in to quell the protests if it gets out of hand. He said, you can see that some people supervising elements to push individuals to carry Russian flags in Nigeria, Nigeria is a sovereignty that is crossing the red lines and we will not accept that and those ones who have done that will go in for the books and they will be prosecuted. Further asked whether those behind the action have been identified, he simply responded, I'm sure you have seen them on TV, that is enough for you to see. In attendance at the meeting are the Vice President, Senator Kashim Shetama, the Chief of Staff to the President, Femig Bajabayamala, and the National Security Advisor, NSA, Malam Nuhu Ribadu. Among the security and law enforcement agency heads participating are the Chief of Defense Staff, CDS, General Christopher Musa, and the three service chiefs, as well as the Inspector General of Police, IGP, Kaurig Betakun. Also in the meeting are the Director General of the Department of State Service, DSS, Yusuf Bichi, Director General of the National Intelligence Agency, NI, Ahmed Rufai, Comptroller General of the Nigerian Customs Service, NCS, Kalad Iwale Adani, as well as the Comptroller General of the Nigerian Immigration Service, NIS, Kemi Nana Nandap, 